adventure with um I'm probably going to just suck and die right now. Sure, Dungeon Adventure on the TES. It makes sense, doesn't it? Now, who likes dungeon games? Who likes the TES? I think the TES is mostly youngins. But who likes dungeon games? I think I think mature players love dungeon games. Uh, young players, I can't remember. I think I think I know everybody loves fantasy games. And when I say everybody, I mean everybody. Let's just say everyone. Um crawling through holes. There we go. Pick game engine, the spleen. Because it's the spleen is such an amazing engine. I I don't know I don't know about you guys, but I like it. It's amazing. And then you've got the amazing engine. So first of all, it says basically right away, hey, you're amazing. Gave me equals. When it comes to adventure, you increase the story quest. And the gameplay is pretty important. The engine, not so much. S linear story. And you have a save game. And I'm talking like this. Because it bugs people. Okay, so we just got full design. But that's okay, because adventure likes to be designed okay level design uh i can't remember what's uh, important in an adventure uh, artificial intelligence no uh level design i think so it's a dungeon game and a dialogue maybe a little bit little, 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 tiny, little tiny little tiny little little tiny little uh, maybe a little bit tiny uh, okay right there that's where i like it that's where i like it nice and mm. okay this might be a bomb by the way I mean, I'm putting way too much in design, not too much in technology at all. And here's why, I'd like, oh, well, sounds, well, design is graphics, not not so much graphics. Graphics, not so much. Graf uh, I, I need some for my my graphics V2. And uh, sound can it can die. Design full up right there. Screw technology. Who needs technology when you have such amazing design? Oh, this game's gonna suck so hard. Oh, what the hell? I thought I saw him with bubbles. I must have. Uh, oh, these people are gonna die. Oh, bugs. Bugs is a bug. There's one minor bug someone might find. It's gonna be like, oh, I found out how to make infinite monies. And I'm like, no. No, damn it. Oh, oh no. Oh no, oh, oh, oh. No, it's Bug's fault. Oh, well, I guess I got a six. I guess. Fun at stages. Well, I guess that's okay. Overall, I got a five. So no one's going to hate me. It's just, they're not going to like me. Let's generate a game report. See what I did wrong. Huh. Okay, well. One dungeon adventure is an okay combination. Okay, so that's my bad. Engine seems to be not important for this type of game. Mm, no, it's not. Platform genre match adventure TES bad. Okay, so the TES hates adventure. I don't know what the TES likes. I think everybody likes sci-fi. Do I really want everybody to like sci-fi though? Mature audience probably likes sci-fi. Mm, or, or maybe not. I don't know. Uh, let's say let's say I want to create a new game. Uh, pick a topic. Let's say sci-fi. Oh, Bill, you want sci-fi? Yeah, but uh, I want a sci-fi strategy maybe choice sci-fi strategy let's make it mature players let's make it pc because pc's got mature players and pc's good for strategy games i mean basically we're playing like i don't know uh star st star table that's what we're playing star table
it looks like it's doing well so far. When it comes to strategy, I believe story and quests, not so important. Gameplay, amazingly important. Engine, more important than gameplay, in my opinion. Um, everything's looking good. I think strategy games are the best games I've ever made. Because I'm an amazing person. Uh, level design, kind of important. Artificial intelligence, probably more important. Dialogue, not so important. Just trying to even out my technology and design. I know I'm going to put a lot of InDesign this time. Sounds kind of important. Graphics, super important. Not really. Actually, yes, they are. Not really. Yeah, they are. Let's do that. Everything should be fine. Crawling through holes is now off the market. Hi, I'm Steve O'Connell, a reporter for Planet GG. I'll give you an interview. Great, thanks for your time. Yay, Bill's making mature rated games so people care. New research available, casual games. No one cares about casual games. I'm just kidding, in the future casual games will take over the world. Bill Fungal thing in my Bob. He likes mature rated games because he's a pervert. That's why. In an unofficial statement, a G64 employee said that the company's starting to suck. And we're starting to lose all hope for a cool, amazing computer thing about Bob. So we're finished. We got some hype. We got some hype. Hopefully that hype's not for nothing or else I'm doomed. This game better be amazing. I leveled up a little bit. That's cool. New research available. Better user and experience level editor. Not really ready for a new th new thing yet. Uh, the first reviews for our newly released game, Star Table, came in. No, oh, it's it's looking good. It's looking good. Oh, oh, yep, yeah, nine, nine. Come on, give me a ten. Give me a ten. Give me a ten. Give me a ten. Damn it. Give me a ten. Give me a ten. Give me. Ah, oh, it's like you, it's like you're teasing. You're teasing it. Teasing it. You're not gonna give me a ten. I know you're not gonna. You're an asshole. All games is an asshole. But look how well I did. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. It's like it was good, but it wasn't. So let's uh, let's not research. Let's let's look at the game report. There we go, game report coming up. Let's see what we did. Let's see what we we got going on. Oh, research points coming in. Oh, look at them pop bubbly. Now we got the uh, the game boy. I mean the uh, what what's it called? Gameling, gameling, gameling. Doesn't that sound like a character you play in D and D? Halfling. That's what I'm thinking of. Our post-release analysis of star tables is complete, and we got the following results. Sci-fi and strategy is a great combination. Yes, it is. Gameplay seems to be very important for this type of game. I uh, thank you. Platform audience match mature PC is great. So let's uh some uh, research maybe. Better user experience, mono sound, casual game. Let's not get any of that just yet. Let's uh, let's wait a little bit longer. Develop a new game. Pick topic. Dungeon, history, werewolf. Let's say history. I don't know if mature. I think mature likes history. Show sure. history, strategy again. Strategy because Bill's amazing at strategy games. PC, the spleen. Um, I like to call it. Why did I already say this? No, I didn't. Your grandpa. The a badass. So it's YGB. YGB. There we go. Next. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry to say uh all the time, but you know it's just it happens. Things like that happen. So story and quest not so important. Engine super important. Gameplay important. Everything's good. I think last game I made was a strategy game, so technically speaking, everything could just be the same. But I think they get mad if you do that, because like, oh well, you know, this game's exactly made the way you did the last one. Not much important. It's like an Adam Sandler movie, you know, always being repeated. But it's like, but you like it, don't you? I guess. But, you know, so what? Who cares if I like it or not? Maybe if I even these two out. Um... I don't want to switch it out. We did so well last time. One second. Maybe I should... 
keep that the way it is for now until I get more info on that. Yeah, yeah, all that, all that news stuff. Yeah, that's nice. It's gaming history right there. Bill doesn't care. Bill's an asshole. And then someone likes to text Bill. No, better yet, someone likes to call Bill. Excuse me, everyone, as I take a moment. Okay, guys, so uh, I had to go do some hard physical labor because, you know, that's how I roll. Uh, I had to go move some uh, tables around. Um, so we're done with this. The bugs are all out. The game's done. Grandpa's a badass. History and strategy game. By the way, go very well hand in hand. Imagine, I mean, like, you know, empires or something. Okay, dogs are still barking, damn it. Okay, the first reviews for a newly released game are in. Let's see. Oh my gosh, it's, it was such an amazing combination. Enjoyable, number seven. Oh my gosh, the best game ever. Nice experience. I mean, like, I gained so much experience about my grandpa. Oh my gosh, I loved it. It was beautiful. My grandpa's wrinkles, they were just so nicely designed. Okay, so everybody liked it, and the dogs are still barking. What the hell? I'm just gonna have dogs barking this entire video. Why won't they leave me alone? Why won't they leave me alone? So, um, let's generate some new stuff. So, with the growing interest in video games, new research, marketing. Oh my gosh, people are like magazines, and I'm like hyping stuff up, making stuff my beach. 101 Dalmatians. Grandpa's a badass. Not so well. Not so well. Just great comedy story quest seems to be not very important. Mature history is good. So I was wrong, it wasn't everybody game, but you know, whatever. Uh mature is good for the PC and stuff, so I, I did it anyways. And the dogs why won't they stop barking? There's no one outside for them to bark at. And is my mother just walking outside being like, Oh hey dog, I'm tease, ha 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 you can't you can't touch me because I'm outside behind glass. I'm sorry, I kinda went too far there. So we have 3D graphics we can get. I like 3D graphics, by the way. I like to start working on them. So maybe not now, but I mean, we have research points. Open world. Level editor. Casual games. Fuck casual games. And then someone calls me again. What the hell? Fuck. One sec, people. I'll be back again.